Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. So today, let's talk about Swift UI list performance. So I'm currently working on a new app called uh, Fateliku, which is an app that keeps track of all my souvenirs over time. Uh, so the app is currently here and it is running on my iPhone. It has uh, three tabs, a reflection uh, tab, a souvenir and a stats. So for the reflection, it uh, you can see that uh, we can browse per category and when you tap on a category you have uh, the souvenirs of that category so this is the favorite and uh, you have here down below like uh, the all the categories like finance and etc and uh, in this souvenir tab you have the souvenirs that are ordered uh, by date right and uh, you have those souvenirs that are uh, grouped uh, also by the month. Now let's see the memory consumption of uh, this app. So I'm currently around uh, 53 megabytes. Uh, so we are not loading uh, that uh, uh, so much uh, souvenir. So I think that uh, if I go to the repository, souvenir re repository. Yeah, so currently we are just loading uh, 100 repositor uh, 100 souvenirs right let's bump that uh, to uh, 1000 and uh, see what we'll have okay let's go to the souvenir tabs directly and go to the memory consumption so here we can see that uh, we have a peak here at uh, 231 megabyte right and uh, once we start to scroll yeah uh, the scroll is smooth for now but when we when we are at the bottom yeah uh, so we have this word effect right and uh, the memory uh, is going back to uh, is getting low right now which is which is cool okay so uh for the implementation let's see what i have used so it is just a list right and uh, inside i use a section with a lazy vista in order to uh, load these souvenir items uh, lazily okay so uh let's go back to the repository now and maybe bump that to let's say 5000 right since we are doing some performance test here let's see how the app is going to react now okay it is taking some time in order to build those 5000 objects and we can see that the memory consumption is almost at uh, we have a peak here at one gigabyte okay and uh, if we are going to scroll right now we we can see that the experience is not that good because the scrolling as you can see the scrolling is not that smooth as well even though uh, the memory consumption is uh is at around 250 right but the scrolling you can see that at some time the scrolling just stops okay before continuing right so we don't have a really good user experience okay so uh it seems like uh for now uh swift ui lists are uh, kind of limited in uh, what they can do compared to uh a UI collection view or a UI uh, table view in a UI kit. So now let's um, let's try to implement this functionality right uh, with a UI collection view and a diffable data source right with a modern UI collection view. Collection view demo and uh, it is going to be yeah. So we are going to use a UI kit. Okay. 
so we have the target right here okay so for this uh, view controller what i'm going to do uh, first for this uh, target what i'm going to do is uh, to just add <coughs> uh where is it i'm going to add only the souvenir feature right so this target is just a sandbox uh for me and uh, we are going to experiment with uh this model ui collection view okay so for the view controller i'm just going to do this right okay so let's see what we have for the get repository here let me go back to the souvenir repository and i need here to mark it as public okay uh, uh let's switch to this collection view demo let's build and run so here it is building the object remember that it is 5000 objects and the peak here is 76 um, megabyte right and uh, as you can see here the memory footprint is 32 uh, 38 megabyte and let's see the scrolling performance now and as you can see, it is really, really, really smooth. And uh, the memory consumption is not, not above the 60 megabyte, right? And here we have, we have the same appearance. Since I've used here, um, with iOS 16, you can use a Swift UI, um, Swift UI views right you can definitely use swift ui views as a cell right so here souvenir compact cell view is a swift ui view and you can use it directly uh, on your uh, collection view okay and uh, maybe the font is not that good so we can do something like this import design system and here let's say this the font is uh, Poppins, that uh, Poppins font, that register font, okay, because this font is in the design system package. Let's see here. So it is building the 5000 objects. And after that, we have, uh, yeah, so we have the exact same. Uh, thing as we had in uh, the original package and let's let's uh, put this even further let's maybe uh, say that uh, we have uh, 10,000 souvenirs and see how the app is going to react let's go to the memory it is going to take a little bit of time because Boom. Okay. And uh, right now we have the 10,000 objects and for the memory consumption, we have, uh, yeah, that's insane. We have uh, something around 72 uh, megabyte. And uh, yeah. So how collection view and UI table view is working is that uh, it is going to reuse those objects we have on screen like currently we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we have those nine objects that are going to be uh, reused every single time right so uh, we are not um, l loading uh, more objects that we actually need right and it is really smart and it's working flawlessly right like uh, we we are not going over the 70 megabyte, which is uh, really cool compared to what we have uh, here on this and uh, on this uh, target. And I, I think that uh, if I'm going to uh, to build this with 10,000 objects at some 
point, the app is just going to crash, right? Let's see. Yeah, so uh, the app was not uh, uh, able to build those 10,000 objects with uh, Swift UI. Uh, so, and uh, it just crashed because we have a memory uh, a memory issue. I think that uh, it's fine to use a combination of uh, list and lazy stack like uh, we did here for a few hundred of uh, items, but uh, when you begin to have a large data set, uh, this won't be uh, enough. And I don't think that, uh, like we see, uh, it won't do the job anymore. So I think that it is super useful to do this kind of test to see. So I pushed the app uh, really far here. I don't think that uh, during the lifetime, the lifetime of the app, uh, a user is going to have more than a thousand uh, of souvenirs. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is still useful to do this kind of uh, metrics in order to uh, to see, uh, in order to choose the right tool for the job. So I hope that uh, in the upcoming uh, version of uh, Swift UI, the list is uh, will be uh, able to uh, handle a very large amount of uh, data, like uh, UI collection view and um, a table view. Uh, can already uh, do so uh, yeah that's it for me guys uh, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this uh, little benchmark video um, so as always uh, if you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing uh, to the channel for more content uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye